Good afternoon, my name's David Wilkes, and I'm looking for £50,000 for 5% in my company, which manufactures a big water saving product, which is in a little box called the Interflush, available from my website, interflush.co.uk. And I shall just demonstrate what it does now. Right, just one little problem with that and all other flushing devices. Press the handle, let go, and they all flush fixed volumes of water. The full system load, away it goes. Now, as you can see, that's a lot of water every time. So if I just refill that with water, that's it. And whilst that filling, you'll note the colours of this, red, white and blue. It's invented in Yorkshire and it's made in Yorkshire. Right, so there's the toilet pan. So that's flushing, pan clear, let go, stop flushing. Just use what water you need. And when you fit this, you save 47% of the flushing water. And that's it basically, available in a box. David Wilkes DIY Innovation is a simple attachment to the toilet which enables the user to control the amount of water flushed by letting go of the lever. It has the potential to save millions of gallons, but only if he can persuade the public to buy into his concept. David, I'm Doug. Hi. Let's say somebody fits one of your thingamajiggers into their toilet. Mm, an interflush, yes. An interflush. That's a change of behavior, isn't it? Yes. I'm just glad you're proud of it. Um, because my habit, I can't speak for everyone else's toilet flushing habits, is when I push down the lever, um, I push it down until I hear the toilet flushing, and I let it go, because I guess I assume it's all going to kind of take care of itself. Yes. But now I'm going to have to pay attention, yes. aren't I? I'm yes. going to have to push it down and watch. Is yes. that correct? Yes, just glance. Well, <laughs> for a period of time, I will be looking at my crap going down the yes. toilet. Yes, yes. Just checking. Da David. The thought of having to look at my shit when I go to the toilet afterwards is sort of borderline for me, especially if you're going, as I would call it when I was a little kid and I haven't changed now, I call it big toilet. So when you go to the big toilet, you can't wait to close that top seat down. So I can't get my head round watching as if it's some form of ritual being quite a proud moment mm. with perhaps a little well, bloodal sort of, you know, yodel in the background sort of saying it's finished now and it's all over and it's gone away. Right. Well, you've just built it up to such a massive thing. Most people look inside, look at the pan anyway to make sure it's clear for the next person. So talking this up that you're going to remember what's in the toilet, you don't remember it at all. All you remember is if it's out of the ordinary. Does that make sense to anybody else? David, David. Peripheral vision. It doesn't, it, it, doesn't, it gives me a bit of a vision of where you're going, but it, it, it sort of concerns me. Well, you're uh, not looking at it with the x-ray eyes of Superman, are you? David, you're very aggressive. David's hostile manner's not endearing him to the dragons. He'll need to work much harder to persuade them he's worth investing in. I now understand the device. Just one small thing I don't understand. Anything about the business. Uh, all the money invested in this so far is just from me. It's got patent coverage on it. So there's a worldwide licensing right. Um, it depends which way humanity wants to go, basically. I mean, at the I'm moment... I'm sorry, say that again? It depends which way humanity wants to go. Oh, humanity. Uh, humanity. Mm. At the moment, we're using resources up at the rate of... We need three and a half planets to supply them. Well, we haven't got three and a half planets, we've got one. Water saving is what it's all about. That may be the case. Uh, somebody, somebody else needs to run with this. David's desire to make the world a better place is not impressing the dragons. Duncan Bannatyne wants to know where he's been trying to sell his product. David, who do you see him in customer base as? Um, anybody who wants to save water and money, basically. I was hoping you were going to say that you already sold it to a chain of hotels or a chain of bobs or bars or something like that, but you haven't. Now, a lot of my time has been wasted actually talking to water companies. Their revenue is from selling water. So something that'll save them so much water. Well, basically, if 25% of the population fitted this, the water companies would have taken a drop in revenue of £300 million a year. Most companies are in business primarily to make money. That's right. And if the water company reduces the water flow, it reduces its profit. That's right. 
Right, but you yeah. thought it would... OK, it took a while for the penny to drop, but it dropped. <sighs> I'm saying I wasted a lot of my marketing time on approaching those people. David's lack of business now has exasperated Duncan Bannatyne. If I invested in you, David, you would just drive me mad. You know, um, I'm out. OK. No problem. One dragon is already out. Peter Jones, though, wants more financial detail to understand the investment opportunity. David, can we talk about some specifics? Yes. What's your revenue that you're expecting to make this year? 200k. 200k revenue? turnover. Turnover. And what profit are you expecting to make this year? Probably none in first year, in common with most businesses. Really? No, no business that I've ever started or been involved with? What price will you be selling them at? 17.95. What's the wholesale price? Wholesale price, that'd be nine pounds. And how many of these products will you sell through wholesale and how many products will you sell direct? Wholesale, maybe uh, 20,000. And th through direct? 20,000. So you're going to turn over about 540,000 this year now? Is it? I'm right. Fine. You haven't got a clue, have you? David, uh, I think you're completely uninvestable as an individual. Uh, the product just, it doesn't do anything for me at all and I'm absolutely not interested in investing in the product or you. OK, no Sorry problem. That's all right. David, I'm Theo. Hello, we haven't spoken. No, yeah. I'm not going to invest. OK. David's pitch is going disastrously. Only two dragons remain. Rachel Elnor suspects he's got his priorities all wrong. David, can I just ask, are you more of an eco-warrior than an entrepreneur? Yeah, I suppose I am, yeah. This could save 250,000 tonnes of carbon dioxide, over 500 million kilowatt hours of electricity. Are these more important to you than making money? The making money is a byproduct, that's true for me. The reason... You know, we're using all of the planet's resources up now is because everybody's obsessed with making money. David, I'm going to declare myself out. I don't think it's one for me at all. David, you may very well view yourself as saving the world. No, oh, just water. In trying to save the world. But let me leave you with a message. I don't think you have a right to sit there and preach to me about how the world's going to hell in a handbasket solely because people want to make money, which is what you just said. I'll give you a response to that. There's a lot of good in making money. You want to know why? It drives people to do things, to innovate, to create, to be entrepreneurs, and to change the world. And so you say the business has to make money. No, it should be your driver to the, drive that profit, to drive this product. And because of that, you are not going to succeed. And so my message back to you is I would get off your holy horse. Well, I never was on one, and I'm sorry you got the wrong impression. I'm sure you gave it. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. David Wilkes has felt the full force of the dragon's disdain. His opinions were completely at odds with theirs, and they could see no way of working with him. If it doesn't sell, he doesn't get to save the world. So if he could think about getting it to sell, then he might save the world. He's flushed 10 years of his life down the toilet. Well, David, culture clash. But, but what do you mean, America? Well, th there were a whole lot of culture clashes. Yes, there were. They just didn't get it. The penny, um, the penny didn't drop. You came across, though, as quite defensive. One said you were aggressive. I think it, would, it looked more defensive, but it wasn't a kind of good way to persuade them of your point of view. They were asking the wrong questions all the time, and uh, they hadn't understood it, really. They hadn't understood that... Uh, we do need to save water. I've never met anyone who has so much strong feeling about toilet flushing, but it's really been a great pleasure. It's a waste of water. See.